All right, welcome back from that quiz. Basic electricity, question 31. Okay, you have another figure there. Make sure you go get it. 2,645 watts. 2,645 watts. Referring to figure four, how much power is being furnished in this circuit? Referring that to this circuit in figure four, 2,645 watts. Okay, 2,645 watts. How much power is being furnished in this circuit? 2,645 watts. Question 32, you have another figure. You're asking, they're asking for 10 ohms. What is it? In figure five, what is the impedance of AC, cir C AC series circuit consisting of an inductor with a reactance of 10 ohms? a capacitor with a reactance of four ohms, and a resistor with a reactance of eight ohms. It's a total of 10 ohms. There's your formula, there's your explanation. Just remember in figure five, that is your figure, it's asking for 10 ohms, 10 ohms. All right, basic electricity number 33, another figure. So there, it's, it looks like it's three ohms. All right, if resistor R5 is disconnected at the junction of R4 and R3 as shown, what will the ohmmitter read? It's gonna show three ohms, okay? In figure six, if the resistor five is disconnected, you're gonna read three ohms. What will it mean? It was gonna read three ohms, okay? Continue, 34. Okay, infinite resistance, infinite resistance. In figure seven, if resistor R3 is disconnected at terminal D, what will the ohmmitter read? Infinite resistance, infinite resistance. If R3 resistor is disconnected at terminal D, the ohmmitter will read infinite resistance infinite resistance. Number 35, 10 ohms. Figure eight will show you that the ohmmeter connected to the circuit as shown will, what will the ohmmeter read? Okay, it's gonna tell you that you have that break, it's only gonna read 10 ohms. How much? It's gonna read 10 ohms, 10 ohms, what ohmmeter connected to the circuit is shown, it's gonna read for figure eight, 10 ohms. Excellent. So, two. In figure nine, how many instruments, voltmeters and ammeters, are installed correctly? And the answer is two. How many instruments, voltmeters and ammeters, are installed correctly? The answer is two. If for figure nine, when they're asking you for voltmeters or ammeters, you know if, which instruments are connected correctly, the answer is two. Two. All right, question 37. In parallel with a unit, in parallel with a unit, the correct way to connect a test voltmeter in a circuit is in parallel with a unit. In parallel with a unit. The correct way to connect a test voltmeter is in parallel with a unit. Excellent. 38, zero voltage. Zero voltage. What will a voltmeter read if properly connected across a closed switch in a circuit with electrical power on? Zero voltage. What will a voltmeter read if properly connected across a closed circuit? It's gonna read zero voltage. Zero voltage. Excellent. 39. Column. What does the letter Q symbolize when measuring electrical charge? It's 
column, column, column. Letter Q symbolizes column. All right. Columns and columns. 40 milliampere. Milliampere. Which term means 0 0.001 ampere? Milliampere. Milli. So when you have that 0 0.001, you're talking about, remember, tens hundreds, thousands, thousand milli, milliampere, 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 milli, 0 0.001 amp, ampere is a milliampere. All right, quiz, I'll see you soon.